Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, y'all have had too much time on your hands in quarantine. You know those little teardrop things that you see that are supposed to lift your breast up? Well, we're going to be trying these out today for the first time. Um, and we're going to see how that goes. So that covers the boobs. The rest is going to be uh, different lip looks and lip techniques to help you perfect your lip game. Try saying that three times really fast. All right. Uh, I, what was that? That was supposed to be a wink and it went horribly wrong. Do you see? Do you see what's happening here? Oh. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I have no um, eyelashes on today and because I'm going to be filming later Bloodlust, Jeffree Star's iconic new palette, which just restocked by the way. I don't know when they're shipping, but you might want to follow Jeffree's Instagram so that um, you can find out when it's going to ship. So today... Let's talk about uh, this coronavirus thing. Oh my gosh. So, so unnerving. It's really surreal. I keep almost feeling like I'm going to wake up and it's like a dream. Um, do y'all feel like that? It's, um, it's surreal. That's all I can say. I was hoping for zombies. Um, no zombies. But... Anyways, um, it's a stressful time and everyone shows their stress differently. Some people, um, and also it brings out the best and the worst in the people, I think. I think if you're a really nice person, it's bringing out the good in people. And if you're um, a bad person, it's bringing out the bad. Um, people are losing their tempers. People are, the grocery store, people are wandering around like in this like daze. And then it's just so interesting to see like a group of people together with no mask, no protection on. And then you find, see someone else with gloves and the full mask and like a hoodie over a hat looking like the Unabomber and shit. So I don't know. It's crazy. And they, they, there's still no meat when I go. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not a morning person. I am not going to get up at six o'clock in the morning. I will rely on the kindness of others. No, really. Um, and paper goods. Still, like toilet paper cleaned out. Clean eggs, paper towels. Uh, I'm good, though. I, ha I have enough food um, here in the house uh, to sustain us. And I feel comfortable. And I I'm blessed to have enough paper goods. And, um, yeah, what's the deal with toilet paper? I don't get it. I don't get it. Can good, still gone. Um, but it's a scary time and I'm here because I would like to give you just a nice break, a nice relief. Um, let's just play, play with things, boob things today. This is the first. And um, let's also play with uh, makeup and we're going to be playing with lipstick today. I'm going to give you a lot of tips and tricks and we're going to go into like some natural looks. We're going to go into some like just every day in a normal life running to do your errands. Um, but if you just want to have a nice lip while you're working in the house, it, you should. Because you have to look in the mirror at yourself. And other people ha might have to look at you. So put a little lip on. So I'm going to show you an everyday look. Uh, just very natural. Natural, natural, natural. 
And then I'm going to go into like a light look, nudie pinky look, nudie beige look, and then go into like a bold color. And all of these little tips and tricks that I picked up along the way as far as like making your lips look bigger. Uh, and I'm going to go more in depth to it than I did in the cosmetic surgery uh, with makeup. So it's going to be fun. Let's start off with uh, the boob portion, breast portion, um, jugs. Um, gosh, there's so many names for them. Your rack. Um, I don't know. Torpedoes. Mm. Snack of the day. Starbucks uh, vanilla iced frappuccino. Mmm. I need a little boost. Want something sweet? Perfect thing to go to. Okay, so I've never done these before, so I don't know what the hell is going on here. Okay, I think you rip it. And, oh, it's got like a little Ziploc here. And um, here's what they look like. Oh, it's got like plastic. Okay. Looks like a teardrop. And then the other side has like an adhesive. Oh, and it has a little hole for your nipple. I was wondering about that. But, you know, girl, you have to have a small areola for that one. That's it. That's it. But thank God I, I have small areolas, so I don't. But you girls with the big areolas, you're going to get some nipple caught up in that sticky shit. Um, so that's what they look like. All right, let's just give it a try. Oh, there's some directions. Let's see what the directions say. Shall we? Use tips. Of nipple covers. That's not how they advertised it. They said it was going to get lift and and bring it in and and make them look twenty years old. Now it just said nipple covers. All right. Step one: wash your hands. I I've washed my hands thirty five times today. And breast. Well, I washed my breast yesterday. Okay, um, step two, peel off the back of the pasties. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Did you ever see that movie, Life? The sci-fi movie? Oh, my gosh. I watched that last night. I'm, I am making very un... Oh, my God, look at this. It's life. It's that thing. It's attaching itself to my finger. It's going to go... Oh, God, it's stuck on my glasses. Okay, this is, look at, look at this shit. It's remind, okay, I'm, I'm freaking out. Whew. I took a gummy earlier. That's not helping. Okay, so it it's definitely sticks. That's for sure. Okay, step three. Position pasties to cover entire nipple. Press lightly to ensure total attachment. Okay, let me just jump ahead to step four because I want to know where my boob job is. Uh, remove the back film of the built-in lifts. Bunny ears. Oh, they're calling them bunny ears. It does kind of look like a bunny. Uh, lift breast to desired position. Okay. Smooth in the area by applying gentle pressure. Honey, you should see this girl's wrap in this picture in that little rust slutty cami. Can you see that? Okay. Okay, wonder boob or whatever you're called. Okay. Here we go. I hope you can. Yes, you can see my breast. Okay, so we are going to go in here. I'm not going to show my boob. Oh my lord. Oh. Okay. Ah. It, it, okay, got my nipple. Okay, now I'm going to uh, push around the areola area. Okay. Oh, not yet. Okay, now I'm going to lift this puppy up. Let's see how far we can stretch it. I want to look like Pamela. Oh, there's a wrinkle in there. 
That's not pretty. Okay. Let's see. Oh, did that work? Kind of. I mean, like, you kind of see that thing sitting there, but okay. And you can also see this weird... Okay, that's not pretty. Do you see that? There's, like, this little... It's like one of those bad butt jobs on Botched. What the holy hell is going on? Maybe with a different top. It would have to be a thicker material, but this is very thin. However, um, oh, and I feel it unsticking. Like it's like the gravity of my, or the weight of my breast is pulling it down. And you're supposed to be able to wash these. You're supposed to be able to wash them and um, the back and, and the sticky comes back. See, I feel it like lifting off. Okay, so the boobs are starting up here now. And by the time I'm done with the lipstick, they'll probably be down further. Sad. Well, I can't have uneven boobs, so let's just do the other one too. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, it's attacking me. It's it's that creature in life, I swear. Okay, I'm going to try to... Oh, okay, I have to be careful. I can't show my nipple. I'm going to try... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to try to not care about... My areola. Okay, that's better, but... I, okay. Ooh. Hmm, that's interesting. Very interesting. It actually kind of pulled them apart. Almost like if I'm, you lay down and when you're older, your boobs kind of flatten and go to the sides. That's kind of what's going on here. My boobs look bigger, though, but again, they look like a deformed butt from botched. I'm going to readjust this one. Oh. 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 Good. Okay, let's try this again. Nipple. There. Okay, I'm going to try to pull it in. More that time. There, that's subtle. That's subtle. Hi, John. Thanks for taking me out on a date tonight. Yeah, that's real sexy. Okay, that needs to be moved around. Okay, this is just... I guess you need a certain top. Okay, and now... My breasts look deformed. Okay, do you see this? Do you see these? Okay, I'm not sure. But I'm taking them off. Oh, 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 my gosh, that's dangerous. See, I feel this one slipping now, too. Really, what is going on here? Don't you just love those Instagram selling commercial things? And they make it look so easy. Okay, go away, boobs. I'm done with the boobs. The boot portion is over. Now I have to fix myself because I'm, I'm, my breast had been abused. Well, before today, but today too. Let's talk lips. Okay. We're going to do some really fun stuff today, you guys. I'm like so excited to show you some of these little techniques that I have. Okay. So you did your makeup, you got your foundation on like I do. I um, have not wiped the foundation off of my lips. So I'm going to show you, first of all, we're going to start with the most natural basic look. So this is the being around the house. Because remember, you're looking in the mirror and people are looking at you. You need to put some lipstick on that. And just running errands, going to the, even the gym. Because you want to look good. You want to, you know, you want to kind of bring it a little. A little. If you're buying Lululemon, honey, 
you can put some lip gloss on. All right. So what I'm going to do is take a Neutrogena. I like this one the best. This is just the blue and black label one. Um, makeup remover. This is also really good for removing mascara and lash glue. They they work wonderful. I've tried so many others because you know at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they always have like ex like all kinds of brands makeup removers, but none of them work as well as the Neutrogena. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off uh, my foundation off my lips. Okay. Now what that does too is that also because you're rubbing it, it's almost like you're exfoliating your lips. So it gives them like this nice rosy color because my lips normally aren't this color. Like when I wake up in the morning, I look kind of like a corpse. Like it's kind of like, yeah. When you do that, it's like an exfoliator. And so see how nice and pink and my lips are right now. Oh, I like to do this. This is the most natural look I forgot. We're just going to take like a lip. Um, this is a coconut lip oil. So just take a nice coconut uh, lip oil. This is the brand Yes 2 or Yes 2. Yes Coconut Cooling Lip Oil. And it hydrates and restores. This is it. I wonder if you can see that. So I really like this one. I think I got it at Ulta maybe. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that oil. If I can get it to squeeze out. In the center, below your lip line and above your lip line. Don't take it all the way to your lip line. All right. And so see that just gave us this nice, juicy look. Um, now you could do this and add a little um, tinted gloss if you'd like. Um, you know, like one of these little sparkly, subtle um, sparkle lip glosses. Um, this is Anastasia of Beverly Hills. What the holy hell? I'm getting, oh, I'm getting a FaceTime answer. Hello? Hello. Hi. It's my friend Mary. Um, I'm, I'm filming. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay, honey. It's okay. I can talk. It's interesting. It'll be, I'll, maybe I'll keep it in my video. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll edit it. And now I'm going into lips and I'm starting with like the most casual everyday lip to go to the gym, run errands. Uh, well, in normal times before Armageddon. Well, that was fun. Times have changed. Um, instead of going out with the girls for a drink, uh, my friend called me and then she called our other friend. And we all had a drink together uh, while we were FaceTiming. So, you know, it's a it's a changing world right now and um, lots of things to adjust to. Anyways, it was really fun and it was really nice. And we said, let's do it again tomorrow. So, sounds like a plan. So, let's get back to the natural lip. So, we've taken off uh, our, our lips, our foundation on our lips with the Neutrogena White. We went in with the coconut oil. And now, and we didn't go again above the line or below the line. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a lip liner and we are just going to go along the outside. All right. So we're going to take our lip liner and we are going to overline on the outer portion and then just going to bring it up a little on the arch and we're going to do the same on this side. I 
And then we're going to go on the lower. And then we're going to uh, overline. Okay, and then we are just going to top it off with a nice gloss, and I'm using Anastasia Estella. And there we have just a nice, natural, easy to do look. So some of you don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, so if you don't, this is a nice look to complement your no makeup makeup look. Let's get into number two. I'm going to take this off. So this next look is how to make your lips look fuller like you've had lip injections. And um, this was done by a gal. Um, her handle on YouTube is Snitchery. And then Raw Beauty Christy, uh, who I highly recommend. She's absolutely hilarious. Um, very dry sense of humor. Um, I think you like her. Um, so check Raw Beauty Christy out. And she did the look, and that's where I saw it. We're going to take our lip liner and we are going to come in about this far and we're going to draw a line there. This is supposed to give you like a Bratz doll lip. Okay. And then you're going to overline. And then instead of going all the way down into that point, you're going to come across a little. Okay. Now we're going to take concealer and I'm just going to put it on a little brush. And what you're going to do is that area there, you're going to conceal that like that. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see. And I'm probably doing it all wrong. I'm going to take a little powder. I think she did it on the corners too. She did. I just remembered. Okay. Got to go up in the corners. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. That's what she did. Oh. That's it. It's totally changing the shape of my lips. This is actually kind of cool. The 
power of makeup. Let's see if I can do it the same on this side. I should have had this in the cosmetic surgery with makeup video. This is insane. And I'm going to put a little powder on that. You go back in with the lip liner. And that's it. Oh, isn't that interesting? I already have full lips, but it, and they're still full. It's just giving me this totally different vibe, which is kind of cool. And, um, yeah. And then you can go over it with the liquid lip. I'm going to go into it with the Runway Rogue. And this color is called Sex Symbol. Because I'm a sex symbol, you know. I... alteration of my lips kind of pretty it's kind of howdy I mean I can see it does make it looks like I just had filler more more filler in my upper lip right now cool all right there you go so we all have different things for everybody all right I'm going to take this off and we're going to go into the next look Okay, this next look is a technique that was um, developed by Scott Barnes. He's, um, I mentioned it before, he's JLo's makeup artist. He's the one who created the JLo Glow and he does all the contouring. Um, so he has a technique and um, Tati Beauty, um, she also did it on her channel. Actually, he if you ever get a chance, watch the video, Tati's video with Scott Barnes. It's really nice. He teaches her how to do the whole JLo glow. Um, so now this is a trick with your contour. So um, I'm just using the, his contour palette, but you can use any contour uh, or any, um, for contour, you can also use any matte bronzer. Just make sure that it's not uh, leaning on the orange side. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go into one of these contour colors. And what you do is you're going to just like kind of contour. Totally. Now my lips are going to be huge after this one. You use the contour to go totally outside the line. on the bottom. 
problème. See, I'm really taking that outside that line. Damn, I'm gonna have some big old lips. Honey! Then we're gonna go in with our lip liner again. And we're going to line over that excess contour. And what this does, basically, it reduces your lip liner, your lipstick, when you overline from showing. So it actually looks like your lips. So people won't look at you and be like, she got her lips way over line. So. And this is the first time I've done this too. So. Well, I always tell my doctor, give me Angelina Jolie lips. So now I'm really getting them with this. I might start implementing this. Wow. Okay, Scott Barnes. Good Lord. Okay. Wow, okay, my lips are gigantic. And then you just fill it in with your favorite uh, liquid lip. I am going to go in with a, is this okay? This is a Jeffree Star, and this is called Celebrity Skin. So we're gonna go in with that. It smells like, oh, like black licorice. That's what it is. Okay, this is unhealthy lip injections, but it worked. It really worked. So if you want to give yourself uh, the look that you just had lip fillers, um, this one really works. I'm going to top that off with an Anastasia, and this color is called Freya, F-R-E-Y-A. It's got kind of a goldy tint to it. It's really pretty. And there you have it. Okay, I have my Angelina Cho lips. lips. I finally have my Angelina Jolie lips. That is like so cool. What a great technique. I watched it. I thought, oh, I don't really need to do that. My lips are already full. But, you know, I'm a more is more girl. What can I say? And, um, wow, if I ever want to look like 
I just got my lips filled even more. And I really want the Angelina and Jolie lip. There you go. And it, especially if you have thinner lips. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So good. Okay. Wow. Big fucking lips. Pardon my French. Okay, this is an adult show. This is not for children. All right, so let me take this off and then I'm just gonna give you a couple pointers and then uh, I'm gonna do a, a natural lip and then I'm gonna do a, a bold lip. Okay. Okay, I have my normal lips on again. So you can see what a big difference that is. So that was really cool. So we're just gonna go into like a nice nudie look. And uh, on all these, I'm using, again, the Rimmel Addiction Lip Liner. And normally, I just overline a little bit on the outer edges of my upper lip. And that's about it. Uh, I reapplied some foundation. Because when I took off the giant lips, I had to wipe off, like, the makeup you know, above my, my lips. You don't care about that, do you? No. Okay, before I put the lipstick on, I want to show you a little trick, too, to make your lips look fuller. Another thing you can do is you can actually line the inside of your lip, and you really want to emphasize this little fat area here. You're going to go under... And again, go up into those little natural lines here and here. That's another trick that you can do. And then you could just put on regular lipstick. I prefer the liquid lipstick, um, especially the ones I'm using today. I find non-drying, like I can wear them all day and they don't dry my lips out um and for my lips this is like one of the perfect nude colors i found it's by jouet and the color is creme brulee and i just love this and i love a liquid lip because it's so concentrated that you can actually go over your lip liner as well um so it looks very seamless so I'm going to go in with this. This is a beautiful nude color, kind of a peachy nude. See? A lot of people will just put on a coat of lipstick and go out the door. Yeah, that's fine, but if you do a couple more steps, you can really make your lips a wow moment on your face. That sounded really weird, but that's what I mean. A couple more steps and you can have like amazing lips. I gotta tell you, when I go out, I can't tell you how many people say, what lipstick are you wearing? What lipstick are you wearing? Oh, I love your lipstick, what is that? And I say, well, it's like four steps. It's like a lip liner a liquid lip and then it's a, a lighter color and we're going to go in with a lighter color right now and what I'm going to do is this is um, an Estee Lauder 02 uh, pure color NV and this is actually a shadow um, oh it's wicked peach this is actually a shadow paint it says um, so you can use this on your eyes or your lips. So I know hit this right here in the center, right there. And I'm gonna do a little bit on my upper, just in the center. And then I'm just gonna kinda pat that out. See what that did? And then I'm going in with step four. And step four is some lip gloss. 
and I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Estella. And this is, let's just call this the Dreamy Nude Lip. And there it is. And these products, um, all, I know, are all current. Um, the only one I'm not sure about is the SD Lauder. Um, let's get this off and go into, um, I think we have two more looks and then we're done. Okay. My lips are getting really raw. Um, I'm definitely exfoliating them from taking all this off. All right, so now we're going to go into a blush pink lip and again I'm using the Rimmel Addiction. I'm going to line and I'm just doing a really light coat because we're going in with a baby pink color. The other one was more peachy and this is more of a baby pink and on this look, I'm going to be using Too Faced Matte Talic. Um, so it's like a matte and it's got like a metallic, uh, liquefied metallic matte lipstick. And the color of this is Sugar Kisses. And I adore this color. And I'm just going to go in. How pretty is that? color. I just love, love, love this. We're going to keep this look simple with uh, just three steps. And for my lip gloss, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star. And this is called Candy Drip. And it's like this kind of really pretty, like sparkly pink. And look at that packaging. I just love this. If you guys haven't gotten the Jeffree Star lip glosses, they're so beautiful. They're so nice. And they smell good. And it's such a beautiful bottle to pull out of your purse to add lip gloss. And this is just like a baby pink with a sparkle. And the sparkle is not, like, you don't look at it and see sparkle. It's very, very subtle. And there's our baby pink lip. Mwah! How cute. I love it. Okay. Uh, before we get into the last look, Please, if you enjoy my videos, if you're liking this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload a video, hit the bell and that'll give you a notification when I've uploaded. Uh, I'm trying to do two days a week um, with, during the um, quarantine. So, um, to keep you all entertained, get your mind off things and just be there for you and just, ha like I said, have fun with some makeup. So let's take this off and let's get into our last look. Last look. Now this is a look that I never do because I like to keep my lips more nudie, pinky tone because they're already big enough. And whenever I do a shocking color, it's like, or a bright color, it's it's kind of obscene. Like, I kind of look like a blow-up doll. But I'm going to do it for you. I will be a blow-up doll for you. Again, that doesn't sound right. All right, we're going to go in. We're doing uh, Kylie Cosmetics. Uh, I This is like one of the only ones I own. 
I know everyone's like a freak about Kylie uh, Cosmetics. This is Kylie Jenner Party Girl Lip Liner. The lippy I'm going to use is um, Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Party Girl. Okay. And this is a bright, bright orangey. Yeah. And then I have a new Jeffree Star lip gloss that's like everything. It's orange, orangey with sparkles. And so let's do this. I wish I could wear these colors. It's such a Barbie color. Oh, someone asked for a 90s makeup look. Here's one. <laughs> Actually, I should use this in the 90s makeup look. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it or not. I guess I could. It would be fun. Electric blue. I like the neon colors. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Those are some bright ass lips. Ooh, I could stop traffic with these. Good lord. Am I too bright? Let's see. Okay. So now before I put the lip gloss on, I'm going to tell you about that other little tip. And what you do is you just take, take your highlighter. Uh, I'm going to use a Jaclyn highlighter. And you can do this with any lip and I'm gonna go in with um, maybe this goldy color and what you do is you just take the highlighter and you're just gonna go over your lip and you put it predominantly on the center lower lip and that just gives you this really beautiful pout. And it also kind of tones it down also while, while emphasizing your lips, making them look fuller. And then we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star, the gloss. I love how it's just like, honey, he's not playing. He's like, the gloss. Um, okay, so we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Wow. I wish I could wear lipstick like this. But you see what I mean? It's like obscene. It's like my lips are walking into the room before I get there. But this is a nice bold look. Um, so I hope you guys got some really fun tips. Those breast things, um, I'm not sure about, uh, I have to try it with something else, but I didn't like how it like showed on the bottom. It, that was weird. Um, anyway, so that's it guys. Be safe. Don't be foolish. Don't take this lightly. Um, the numbers are escalating and we all have to be proactive and be super, super careful. When you go to the grocery store, try to stay away from people, scrub down your cart or wear gloves right before you get in. Also have a uh, hand sanitizer in your purse. If you have any of those little mini travel things, uh, then fill them. You can even put alcohol in it if, if, you're, if you can't find hand sanitizer. You are all in my thoughts and my prayers. And um, yeah, you really, you really are. And um, Crazy times, crazy times. Um, I love you guys so much. And thanks for coming back to my channel. And please tell your friends about me. Um, share it with a girlfriend, with a cousin, um, someone that you that likes makeup that you think might enjoy me. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my subscribers and it would mean the world to me. 
But anyways, you guys, have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time it may be that you're watching. I love you. Bye. Mwah. Your lip gla- your lip glam to help you protect. What the fuck? Is my head getting cut off? Okay, I can take the pillow away because you can no longer get to see my breast. These are my breasts. They're my personal thing and I shared them with you and you betrayed me so you don't get to look at them anymore. You can't touch them anymore. Okay, and this is how my mind works. This is how fucking crazy I am. Uh. <laughs> I, I, a lot of people, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is how a virus starts, right there. Ding, 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 went the bell. Something and in my heart day. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. How did that song go? I used to know that by heart. I'm finally happy, doctor. That was the look that I was going for. Thank you for fulfilling my dreams. What is that? It's coming. No, no.